Madras was the first stronghold of the British in India and the neighboring Pondicherry was the French headquarters. But did you know that for three years, between 1746 and 1749, Madras was ruled by the French? Funny thing is that the British never really won it back from them. In 1746, a French naval commander attacked Madras. He defeated the British and brought Madras under French rule. But by then, England and France had already been fighting each other for a long time in Europe. So in 1749, in a small German town called Aix-la-Chapelle, England and France signed a treaty. They agreed to exchange certain territories they had captured from each other. And just like that, Madras came back to the British. They didn't even have to fire a shot. But the French occupation left a visible mark on the city's landscape. The British realized that the French were able to get so close to their fort by sneaking in through Blacktown, the local settlement that had come up just outside the fort walls. So after the French left, the British cleared a large stretch of that land there to create a clear line of sight. Boundary markers were installed to mark the edge of the white town. Only one of those markers survives today and you can see that at Paris Corner. Much later, in the 1890s, when the French were no longer a threat, the Madras High Court complex came up on that same stretch of land. 